Hello Zodiac Leo, this is a video for Zodiac Leo for the week of April 12th through the 18th. Make sure you check out your planetary legend, so your personal planetary legend based on your astrological chart, because there is much more to us than our sun sign. You can look at different areas of your life depending on what the luminary or planet sign it is in. Now let's take a quick review starting with the lunar month of the April 5th Aries New Moon. Last week you received the card, the energy of the Two of Cups. This is utilizing the Pagan Ways to Row, as look at the box, Pagan Ways to Row by Anna Franklin. That's the tarot deck. This week, April 12th to the 18th, you receive the Knight of Swords. And the week prior, March 28th through April 4th, you were working with an energy of sorting things out, responsibilities, obligations, sorting things out, making sure that your schedule is proper for you. So that's sort of like lingering, lingering on. So March 28th through April 4th, you were working on energy of that was echoing the week of March 13th through the 19th of sorting things out and making sure that you're putting your time and your energy, it's being utilized properly for you, making sure you're getting enough rest, relaxation, playtime, de-stress. And last week, April 5th through the 11th, it was a time to discover what you truly want and desire. And that would make, that would be more relevant or make more sense if the prior week, March 28th through April 4th, you did do a review of your time and energy, how you spend your time and your energy. Not that you can't do it now, by the way. So that's basically reviewing your day-to-day -day routine and schedule before work, after work, on your downtime, on your off time, and if you work for yourself, the whole day, how you structure your day. And this week, I'm feeling the energy of, it really feels like you getting, getting it all together, getting your shizit together, um, and getting ready and geared up for the Libra full moon of April 19th, and we're going to start to feel that energy April 16th, 17th, and 18th. And I feel if you don't feel that you have it together for everything, anything that you can possibly do at this time or you're working on, April 12th through the 15th, then come the 16th, 17th, and 18th, you could feel pressure or resistance. So do what you need to do April 12th through the 15th. Now, it should be according to what you truly want and desire and not what others are expecting from you. They may mean well, but if you're not doing what you truly want and desire, you're not really going to be happy and you're going to be on edge and potentially aggravated come April 16th, 17th, and 18th with that upcoming Libra full moon of April 19th. So you can avoid that. And let's say you are doing what you want. Not on a selfish basis, but just to make sure that you're going in the direction that you want to. Then if others do get a little bit out of sorts or cranky pants or grumpy puss, April 16th, 17th, and 18th, it'll roll right off you like water of a, off a duck. Instead of taking it in, taking in that energy and being overwhelmed and off kilter and confused. So it doesn't have to come to that. Because everyone's going to react differently to the Libra full moon. Let me, let me explain. The psychic insight theme for that Libra full moon of April 19th is either commitment, 
or feeling trapped or confined in a situation, circumstance, hopefully not, but potentially relationship as well. So not everyone's going to be happy-go-lucky and rainbows and unicorns, okay? So you can offset that potential energy by you knowing what course, what direction you're going on, and you've done everything that you could possibly do to the moment between April 12th and the 15th. So if there's an action you need to take, you take it. If there's someone you need to communicate with, you do so. Also, the universe will let you know that you are serious and that you are serious and ready for whatever commitment you would like to attract, create, manifest for around the time period of April 19th, the Libra full moon. Hmm. Is there anything else I can add? Nope. I am feeling complete, feeling complete. All right, so until next time we connect, you be well, take care, stay inspired. If you're a subscriber to Medium Tarot TV plus video subscription service, we'll see you in the dailies, daily universal energy forecast videos. Also see you next week right here. If not, then go to my website, everyregasta.community, link Medium Tarot TV, see example videos of the service for the daily universal energy forecast videos, and the Zodiac weekly videos such as these. See example videos, and that's where you can subscribe as well. All right, thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Hope to see you real soon in another video. Take care.